President Obama's proposal for a major expansion of offshore drilling along the East Coast is getting mixed reviews this morning, and some of his closest allies are especially unhappy. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has the latest. Bill, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Jeff. The president says that he knew he'd be criticized for opening up large areas for offshore exploration for oil. But his argument is that U.S. dependence on foreign oil is a danger to national security. This announcement is part of a broader strategy that will move us from an economy that runs on fossil fuels and foreign oil to one that relies more on homegrown fuels and clean energy. The president's plan would open up oil exploration off the Atlantic coast from Delaware south along the northern coast of Alaska and, if Congress approves, in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. The Pacific coast between the Canadian and Mexican borders would remain closed. This decision follows administration promises to pursue clean coal technology and nuclear power. Many in Washington see this as a strategy to win Republican support for a climate bill aimed at slowing global warming. Environmental groups are disappointed. But we would argue to the president that there's a better way to reduce our oil dependence and to protect the environment, and we really shouldn't be trading off one of those for the other. But the president and his staff insist that this is not about politics. I know that everything is viewed through a lens of uh, who does this help, who does this hurt, uh, who's up, who's down. The president's view is that this is the best policy. The conventional political wisdom is that this is not the time to have another rancorous, nasty debate like the one over health care on a climate change bill. But the betting here is that the president's energy policy may make it easier to have that debate. Maggie? Bill Plant at the White House. Thank you, Bill. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.